uh, catching our first glimpse of the Soyuz TMA-20 as it uh, continues its approach for docking. You can see the solar arrays on the Soyuz TMA-20 that unfurled along with the deployment of the forward docking probe just moments after the Soyuz reached its preliminary orbit after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan early Thursday morning Kazakhstan time, which was Wednesday U.S. time. Once uh, the uh, Soyuz arrives at the International Space Station and uh, leak checks are confirmed to uh, provide the hatch opening and the greetings uh, between uh, the two crews that then will become one as Expedition 26 uh, is augmented back to a six-person crew. Kondratiev, Coleman, and Nespoli, along with their crewmates, face an extremely busy few months ahead with a variety of international vehicles arriving uh, at the International Space Station. An excellent view right now from external cameras on the International Space Station as you look at the Soyuz TMA-20 with its uh, three crew members, Kondratiev in the center seat of the descent module to his left, Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency on Kondratiev's right, NASA's Katie Coleman. Is on. Copy. And now the view once again uh, from the Soyuz cameras, just 600 meters separating it uh, from the Rosviet module, closing at a rate of just over two meters per second. The uh, flashing uh, beacon that you see at the uh, forward end of the uh, Soyuz uh, and the orbital module portion of the uh, three-compartment Soyuz vehicle is the uh, core's automated rendezvous system that sends navigational data, actually beams it back and forth uh, between a comparable system on the Zvezda service module, providing uh, Soyuz Commander Dmitry Kondratiev uh, with updated information on his distance from the docking port of the Rosviet module, as well as his uh, range rate and uh, rate of closure on his target, which is the Rosviet. docking port of the Rosviet module just uh, to the right of the crosshairs in this engineering overlaid camera on the forward portion of the Soyuz vehicle as we continue this brief period of station keeping to enable Russian flight controllers uh, to check uh, all of the Soyuz systems uh, before the automated approach uh, begins. Uh, all of this activity uh, under the monitor monitoring and watchful eye of Soyuz Commander Dmitry Kondratiev with the board engineer Paolo Nespoli of the European Space Agency uh, seated uh, to his left and NASA flight engineer Katie Coleman seated to the right of Kondratiev. Radegi, Mission Control Moscow. Go ahead and send the command uh, for initiation of final approach at 2303. Copy. You, we have your go to send command to initiate final approach at 2303. Affirmative. Copy. And, we're and final approach now has been initiated. This uh, should take about nine minutes, perhaps a, a minute or so less, we'll see. As uh, you can clearly see against uh, the approaching orbital sunset, the thruster firings on the Soyuz vehicle from multiple thrusters on the various axes of the spacecraft, from the instrumentation and propulsion module at the base of the Soyuz spacecraft, as uh, Kondratiev monitors uh, fuel consumption and all of his systems. The Soyuz now 140 meters away from contact and capture and um, give it to us from time to time. Visually, the uh, range is 80 and uh, nominal range rate. Copy. Based on your visual assessment, the range is 80. Uh, what's your visual on the station and the target? We have a good visual uh, on the target and the station. Copy, Dima. Range 25. The Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station just 30 meters apart, crossing the west coast of Africa over Sierra Leone.
скорость норм касания. Range rate nominal and contact. Capture confirmed on display 44. Docking confirmed at 11, 11 p.m. Moscow time, 2, 11 p.m. Central time over the southwest corner of the Republic of Mali in Western Africa. Docking occurring at an altitude of 224 statute miles. A multinational crew has arrived at the International Space Station in time for the holidays. You want us to start? Yes. Please come in. Hatch is opened officially at 5.02 p.m. Central Time. Dmitry Kondratiev arrives on the International Space Station in the Rosviet module. Katie Coleman next, greedy, greeted by Alexander Kaleri. And Paolo Nespoli receiving greetings from Alexander Kaleri, the International Space Station back to a six-person crew. All uh, of the crew members now on board. The official hatch opening time, 5.02 p.m. Central Time, 2.02 a.m. Moscow Time on Saturday. Expedition 26, doubling in size. Dmitry Kondratiev, who will become Expedition 27 commander in uh, mid-March, taking over from Scott Kelly, making his way into his uh, new home on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Katie Coleman beaming from ear to ear with the usual Katie Coleman smile that has become her trademark as he moves, she moves into her new home, and Paolo Nespoli from the European Space Agency revisiting the International Space Station after having been involved in the installation of the Harmony Node 2 on the STS-120 mission three years ago. Copy, ready. To talk to you. Congratulations on the successful docking. We can see you feel well. Happy to see the crew that was on board the station, Sasha, Oleg, Skripochka, and Scott. Congratulations, all of you. You are now a united team and now representatives of NASA and European Space Agency will be talking to you. Thank you very much for the congratulations. Paolo, oh, hello, it's Paolo. Uh, here. Uh, you're looking great. Uh, you're looking great. Frank, how's it going? It's nice to be here again. Yes, uh, we, we looked to, to the start, uh, and you were uh, looking greater as well, uh, walking out to the Soyuz. We saw you with uh, Sasha. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, she's back in Houston. Everything is great with her, with the kids. Uh, they are very happy. And also uh, the family at a very good uh, event in, in Verona. So everybody is uh, very happy to see you on board with the start of the ESA Magistra mission, and uh, we are all sure that you will do a great job there. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for everybody taking care of everything. We are ready here for for being of help up here and uh, carry out all the tasks. Okay, say hello to uh, all your crewmates as well from uh, ESA. We were uh, very proud uh, looking to the launch, and uh, we are looking forward uh, to the, the six of you uh, doing uh, a great job there on board. Uh, of course, not only for us, but uh, for the entire partnership. Uh, you make the partnership proud. You make the partnership proud. Thank you, Frank, uh, and say hello to everybody at ESA there. Looking forward to work up here. Katie, Dimitri, Paolo, this is Kirk Sherman from NASA. I wanted to uh, congratulate you on a super launch and docking. Uh, you guys look great. It's great to see you on board that big space station. Hey, Kirk, it's nice to talk to you. It is so beautiful in the Soyuz. We had the best time, and uh, now we're at the station. It's just amazing. 
Okay, you guys have fun. We'll be sending lots of vehicles your way here very shortly. Sounds good, Dad. All right, we have some other people here that would like very much to speak with you. Hi, Mom, it's Jamie. Uh, I love you very much. I'm happy to see you. And I love you. How are you going? Very good. That was a good ducking. Very good of you. Are you with mom? Yes, I am. Mama will be talking to you now. So long. Dima, hi. We're happy to see you. Hi. Thank you. Unfortunately, I can't see you, but it's nice to hear you. Congratulations on the successful lucky launch and successful docking. Thank you. The friends, relatives, well, they were very much concerned, and they say hi and congratulate you on the successful docking. Thank you very much. We we'll love you. I'll call you down soon. And we're proud of you. Missing you. Okay, thank you. I'll call you down. And wish you successful mission. Thank you. Okay, talk to you later. So long. Hi, Mom. It's Jamie. Uh, well, Dad's gonna have to do twice the job of a dad, cause uh, well, you're gone for six months, so yeah. And uh, well, well, I mean, yeah, I miss you a lot, and I'll take it, Dad. I know you will. I miss you, too. I wish you could have been up in the Soyuz with us. It was really pretty amazing to look down and see the Earth. And now we're in the space station. I almost got lost on my way. Uh, on, on my way.